of victory. You know, it means a lot for me. That will go down in history. It's been a lot of effort from many people. For the first time ever, an electrically powered prototype won a stage of the Dakar Rally. Today it's a good day. The aim was to win a stage of the race. The dream to win the Dakar Rally. As manufacturer of electric cars, this is an opportunity to launch motorsport racing into a new era and is still the driving force behind every individual at Audi Sport. If we win, it will be uh, really more special than all the other victories because uh, nobody tried to do that before. To achieve this, the Audi RS Q e-tron underwent specific modifications and developments following its successful introduction to racing and excites even the most hardy 14-time Dakar winner. The feeling is really good. First of all, it's really nice to drive this car. Always when I jump inside the car, I say, ho, oh, oh. ho. It's so good, so good that it's not, not possible to stop to, to drive. This evolutionary development of its aerodynamics and weight make this desert ship even more efficient. Yeah, clearly uh, we feel uh, the, the lightness compared to last year. It's a, a real step ahead. Furthermore, the entire energy management was rethought. Lower consumption and improved reliability. The work on many small details make a huge difference. So this year's Dakar, we've seen that the car was competitive and reliable and uh, just to try and squeeze even more performance out of it, it's a big pleasure. Nothing was altered in the Audi RS Q e-tron's motor concept. There are motor generator units on both the front and rear axles. A third, together with a TFSI engine, form part of the energy converter through which the high voltage battery is recharged. Brake energy is also recuperated. It's a very complicated system. It's a, it's a high tech, it's a, a lot of effort involved. But we believe that, especially in this second year, we can fight for the victory. Audi is going one step further in the 2023 Dakar Rally. The TFSI engine will be driven with refuels, an innovative biogenic fuel, relying on residue-based products that do not compete with foodstuffs. This leads to a 60% cut in carbon dioxide. When plants grow, they collect the carbon from the air and that we need later on as an energy carrier in the car. The CO2 itself produced from the car is then not an extra stress for our environment since it has been removed beforehand. So by using it, um, yeah, we are aiming for climate neutral use of our engine. Audi is driving a revolution in desert rally racing with a huge objective in mind. If you would win the Dakar, this would be really the best proof in the world that electric mobility is the future. Vehicle development in the toughest of environments is a fantastic way to give a great career a great send-off. If I'm able to win, it will be the last challenge on the probably the last victory. The Audi RSQ e-tron, part of an historic era in cross-country rallying.